which is 1966. These are the first letters of Elul. Umobo Aaron explained in Lukuti Torah, Bamaimer, Divri Amat Elo is a special month. Elo is, is the month of preparation for Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. But Rosh Hashanah, the Jewish people decide the fate of the entire world. Rosh Hashanah is the day, the birthday of Adam. First man, Rosh Hashanah, Adam was born. The Jewish people are the only ones who know or even care when this happened. <clears throat> according to Judaism, according to Judaism, the world is exactly five thousand seven hundred and eighty, and in a, another month, eighty-one years old. That's how old the world is. Exactly. <clears throat> how do we know this? Because that's when man was created, and the whole world was created for man. What is it created for man? That man should reveal in this world the truth. That's why God created the world. Very few people get this because truth is always uncomfortable. Always. Always. Truth is always uncomfortable. It's always demanding. Truth demands from us. When God revealed himself on Mount Sinai, <clears throat> so the Jewish people got a lot of demands. Don't do this. Don't do that. The Jewish people became responsible to God. When Adam was created, he also got a lot of commandments. Don't eat from the tree, don't do. But the essence of Judaism is responsibility. Responsible to the creator of the whole universe to keep the whole universe going. It's a preparation for the first day of Rosh Hashanah. <clears throat> the best preparation is, is to know that God loves us. God loves us. He created the world from love. That's Dodi. Dodi. That's what King Solomon said. This is in King Solomon. Where is it? King Solomon in Anilatori Dodi Li, where's the chapter it is? King Solomon, this is in Shira Sharim, the sixth chapter. Shira Sharim has eight chapters, sixth chapter, third verse of the Song of Songs. Look it up. And by the way, you should read the Song of Songs if you've never read it. You can read it in English. Totally not understandable. The whole thing is total, total metaphor. Everywhere. There's no simple meaning. The only book in the Bible that there's no simple meaning at all. <clears throat> it's all metaphor and and hinting at somebody else and mysteries and <clears throat> changes tenses and it changes it changes genders and it changes person it changes sometimes it's plural sometimes it's singular it's all big mysteries it's a love song between God and the Jewish people and to the Jewish people and God that's what King Solomon wrote <clears throat> Says, you ever find there's another king, there's another nation that has a king that wrote books like this, that wrote anything about God? A king? Eh. The king of England, the king of Spain, the king of France wrote a book praising God, love songs between him and God. What are you talking about? King David, King Solomon, that's all the, that's their main thing, was attaching the Jewish people to God and attaching God to the Jewish people. <clears throat> so that's what he wrote. I am to my beloved and my beloved is mine. <clears throat> King Solomon said like this, I am to God, and God is to me. Note also that, that the whole year, the whole service of God starts off with Ani, I. The main emphasis on Judaism is me. Me. That's why God created the world. He created a person. What did he have to create a person? Just leave God alone. God could have been the main character, the only character, not have any competition. God created man because he wants man to be the main character. Everything depends on us. We have to reveal Hashem here. Hashem, so to speak, depends on us. So does, We'll learn about this in later. <clears throat> Impossible to say because we really don't exist. I mean, God is creating us all the time. God is creating everything all the time. But he's creating everything for a purpose. And this purpose can only be carried out by man. God, so to speak, can't do it alone. And that is really stressed in the month of Elul. The month of Elul says, I am to my beloved. And afterwards, after that, after I am to my beloved, as then my beloved comes to me. That's the first letters of Elul. 
explains the connection of Ani Lidori, I am to my beloved, and my beloved to me, the connection with this to the month of Elul, says because Elul is Ani Lidori, the month of Elul is I am to my beloved, at the root and arousal from below, Ani Lidori, I go, we're below, we're here, we arouse from below to above, and Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, that's when God comes back to us, that's when he reveals himself. He am shacham milamay lamata. This is a drawing down of godliness from above to below. Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. That's the days of awe that Hashem reveals Himself. That's what's called an arousal from above. This is the language of the Zohar. It's Aramaic. The Zohar was written in Aramaic. But Dodi Li. That's the idea of my beloved Hashem comes to me. That's the month of. Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. Hamshacha by Rosh Hashanah. This revelation of Hashem on Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur is by means of us. An etruta de latata, an arousal from below in the month of Elul. So if so, the month of Elul, we go up to Hashem, and the month of Tishrei from Rosh Hashanah, Hashem comes down to us. Zeo, that's what it means that El is this letters of Ani Ladodi and Dodi Li. Namely, that Ani Ladodi is what we do in El, and the Dodi Li that causes what happens later on in Tishrei. Shagam Dodi Li, but also we see that the words Dodi Li is included in the initials, Rosh Tevot, in the, in the initials of the month of El. Why? Because the arousal from below of Elul, Ani Lidodi, this is a preparation <clears throat> for the main thing, which in the end we're going to see it's not the main thing, the main thing of Lidodi Li, that Hashem comes down to us on Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. So it's like the work we do on Elul, right? Ani Lidodi, what do we always have in mind? Lidodi Li, that Hashem is going to come down, reveal Himself to us, on Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, the blessings of God on Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. <clears throat> so the Ani Ladodi, that's the month of Elul, and Vadodi Li is Tishrei. But in, when we're in Elul, we have in our mind what's going to be. Tzorach Bir, we have to understand. He means that from this that the letters Vav Lamed Vadodi Li. This is part of the word Elul itself. The month is not called El. The month is called e ul The Ul is Vidodi Li. That means Hashem reveals Himself. The fact that the word Elul contains both, both what we're going up and also the Vidodi Li, Hashem coming down to us, this implies that the month of Elul is not only just a preparation for Dodi Li that's going to come next month. El Abad, Elul, in the month of Elul, there's also a revelation of Dodi Li. <clears throat> there also must be some revelation of Hashem. That's what it says in the Mimer in Lukuti Torah. Well, Mamshech Bamimer continues in the Mimer that in the month of Elul, the month of Elul, God reveals his 13 attributes of mercy. Dagam. Okay, so what do we say in the first paragraph? That the month of Elul is us going up to Hashem. If so, why is it hinted at in the month of Elul, the letters Vav Lamed, Vid Dodi Li, that Hashem reveals Himself to us. So it must be that the month of Elul is not just us going up to Hashem, like it says in the Kuti Torah, but also Hashem coming to us. How does this work out? First paragraph, second paragraph. That in the month of Elul is the revelation of the 13 attributes of mercy. Even though that the month of Elul, God is doing something, right? He's sort of turning us on, Ani Ladodi, that we serve Him. That's the main thing, that we serve Him and arousal from below. Nevertheless, as a Rusa de la Tata, this arousal from below of us, that we make up in our minds, I'm not going to just live for myself, I'm going to do for Hashem. That's the month of Elul that we 
arouse ourselves to Hashem. And especially especially when a person is far away from Hashem. Right? The whole day, who thinks about God? Right? The religious people, maybe. A little bit. And the religious people, when do they think about God? Once in a while when somebody mentions it to them or they do a commandment. Maybe they do. Maybe. That means being far away from Hashem. If so, that's a big novelty. The month of Elul, this is by means of what? We do everything. But there has to be, of course, some sort of inspiration. There has to be some sort of an inspiration or some sort of a, how do you say, opportunity given or an advertisement or something that wakes a Jew up to do it all on his own. The month of Elul, we do it all on, on our own. But there has to be some sort of an incentive given and what does God do? True, the month of Elul is that we're doing everything, but Hashem reveals the 13 attributes of mercy in the month of Elul. And this 13 attributes of mercy, this is what turns us on. The Jew is far away from God. Why all of a sudden the month of Elul, he's going to serve God. What's the difference between Elul and September? What's the difference? As Hashem reveals himself, the Gilu Izeh, this revelation is to each and every Jew. Even for the furthest away Jews. So Hashem does a little, he does a little something in the month of Elul, just to sort of get us interested, you know. Who wanted to, like in, in, in restaurants, you know, they give a free sample, they give something. No, I'm not hungry. It takes a little bit of this. Eh, I'm not hungry. Oh, all of a sudden that wakes his hunger up. That's the month of Elul. Hashem sort of wakes up our, our hunger a little bit. But the main thing is what we do. The main thing is that we serve Hashem. And, but Hashem has to sort of start off. And what is this? This is a netinat koach. This is sort of like a, a, an, an opening the door from above. Alavoda to the, do the service, which is the main thing of Elul, is we do everything. Ani ladodi. the revelation in the month of Elul, is mainly rach netinat koach. Revelation on the month of Elul. This is not a real revelation of Hashem. This is not a real like Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur, right? The month of Elul are not holidays. It's not some sort of a big, unusual feeling that there's a Creator. It's just sort of a little stirring, right? Like like I said before, a little sort of free sample. It's a Natinat Koach. Velosha Gilui Mo'orat Adam. It's not that it arouses a person. The service itself, a person himself, he has to do the work. And this is a Maila, this is the high thing about Elul regarding the 10 days of Tshuva. In the 10 days of Tshuva, Rosh Hashanah, and the two days of Rosh Hashanah, and seven more days leading up to Yom Kippur. That's called the 10 days of Tshuva. And especially Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur itself, the beginning of these. 10 days of Tshuva, in the end, the revelation is in such a way, Shagiloi, the revelation, arouses the person. In the month of Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur, we see even totally non-religious people. Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur, they go to Shul. They want to hear the blowing, the sounding of the shofar, or they fast. Something happens from above on Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur. This really arouses the person. It stirs him totally. The Havodat Adam and the service of man is like Totsa'ah. It's like a sort of result from what happens from above. But we see there's Jews. I know Jews. They're totally not religious the whole year. Nothing whatsoever. Rosh Hashanah, they go to Shul. They want to hear the sounding of the shofar. Yom Kippur, they fast. Right? They hear the shofar, tremendously stirring thing. They could even cry. And Yom Kippur, the same thing. They fast all day. The day after Rosh Hashanah, the day after Yom Kippur, they go back to the same. It has no effect on them whatsoever. No effect on their personal lives. The whole thing of Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur is Hashem does all the work. Not the case of Elul. The month of Elul, Hashem has this special sort of revelation that stirs us to do all the work. That we do it all. <clears throat> the problem is it's not a really big revelation of Hashem. Just sort of this general sort of Jewish feeling. The Ikarin, the main thing of serving man, us serving Hashem, avodah b'koach atzmo, 
This is Ani Ladori. This is the month of Elul. This is the month of Elul. Here we can take this, the best example of all, Adam, the first man serving Hashem, right? When was that the Rosh Hashanah? What happened in Rosh Hashanah? Hashem did everything. <laughs> Hashem created him from nothing. Created the whole world. Everything came from Hashem. Right? That's Rosh Hashanah. Hashem is doing it all. Elul is that we have to do it all. But in order for us to do it all, is we have to have a little bit of an incentive, and that's the Vedodili that's inside of Elul. That's Hashem coming to us, as we'll talk about more, God willing, tomorrow. Now we'll